This video that you guys are about to watch is from my Omni model course. If you want access to the entire course for free, yes, for free, you can get it by going to my website at allentrades.me. The link will also be in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoy this content. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so we just went over an in-depth tutorial of TradingView. I showed you guys what a candlestick is, how to view it, showed you the very basic tools to the very advanced tools. And now we are finally at the last portion of section one. And now we're going to talk about the different types of traders. So let's get into it. So the very first type of trader is a scalper. The general hold time for a scalper is around three hours. And the time frames that you'll use if you're a scalper are the four hour, the five minute, and the one minute, anything under that. So all the second charts. I personally don't like to go under a five second chart, but you can go as low as a one second chart if you would like to. Then we move on to day trading. And the max hold time for day trading is usually around one day with the general time frames that you'll use are the daily, the 15 minute, and then the five minute. Then moving on to the third type, we have weekly. And the whole time for weekly traders is usually around two to five days. The time frames used are the daily, the four hour, and the 15 minute. Now, when I say the time frames that are used, basically what I'm saying is you're going to do your overall analysis on that first time frame. So in this weekly example, you'll be doing it on the daily, trying to see where is the market most likely going to go. Then you're going to go down to a four hour time frame, get a little bit more data, and then your entries are usually going to come on that last time frame. So going back to the weekly example, it will be the 15 minute time frame that you're entering on. If we were looking at the day example, you will be entering on the five minute chart. If we were looking at the scalper example, then you'll probably be looking at a one minute chart or a 30 second chart. Or like I said, I like to use the 15 second chart. But now we're going to move on to the fourth type, and that is swing trading. For swing trading, the whole time is usually around one to four weeks, and the time frames that you're using are the weekly, the daily, and then you're going to enter on that four hour most likely. Now, the last one, the fifth and final type of trader, is position traders. And for position traders, you're usually holding around one to three months. So you're trying to hold for a quarter. So if you enter a trade, in March, which is the start of quarter two, then you're looking to get out somewhere between April, May, even June, pushing it all the way to quarter three, because the whole time is usually around one to three months. And the time frames that you're going to use to enter these position trades are usually the monthly, the weekly, and the daily for the entry. Now, it's important to emphasize that Yes, there are five different types of traders, but you're not boxed into any, being any being type of trader. In an ideal world, you want to learn all the different styles. Because for example, if you're a weekly trader, right? And you don't want to learn scalping or you don't want to learn day, you don't want to learn swing, you don't want to learn position because you think like the weekly is your cup of tea. It's in your best interest to still learn the swing and position trades, because if you know where the market's generally going to go over the course of one to three months, then each week, you know, what side of the market you want to be on. Like if like I have a good understanding of the swing style and I know over the next one to four weeks that the market is probably going to be bullish, then I'm only looking for bullish trades for my weekly setup, right? So in an ideal world, you want to be versatile and understand all the different types. Also, on top of that, the ability to be versatile will help you out as a trader because there are certain times of the day, certain times of the week, certain months of the year where certain styles of trading are not suitable. So like, for example, if we're going back to the weekly or swing or position trading, December and January are typically not good months to be those type of traders. If you are trading during that time of the year, then you might want to be a scalper or a day trader. And the reason for that is usually like, like the end of the year and the very beginning of the year, the market tends to be in a range. So like it won't really go up or go down. It won't go in a certain direction for a long period of time. It'll just kind of go back and forth, going up, going down, going up, going down until we get into the months of like February, March, and then it starts to have better price action. And then on top of all of this, I really want to make this a point. The type of trader that you're going to be 
is going to come to you. Just let it come to you naturally. And there's many different factors that will play into the type of trader that you'll most likely be or most likely specialize in. Because like I was saying before, you want to kind of know kinda all of them, but there will be one that you gravitate towards and that you have your specialty in. And the different factors can be anything. Like you may have a full-time job, which doesn't allow you to be a scalper because you can't stand in front of the chart for four, six, eight hours, or you can't be a day trader. So maybe you can only be a weekly or a swing or even a position trader because you have a full-time job or you have some other time commitment taking you away, or you simply just don't love it to the point where you want to stare in front of a computer screen all day. Like you like the idea of achieving financial freedom. Maybe you just have extra money that you want to invest in and have more control over. So you want to be a swing or position trader. This isn't your, your passion or your love. It's just a way for you to have a little bit more financial freedom. Now, with that being said, my personal favorite is scalping. I love scalping. And that's really because one of the other factors that play into determining what kind of trader you'll probably gravitate towards is your personality, believe it or not. For me, I tend to be a little bit more impatient. I tend to think very quickly. So the ability to get in and out of trades in, a little, in as little as five minutes really intrigued me. So that's why I gravitated towards scalping. Now, with that being said, there are pros and there's cons to each style. The cons of scalping is sometimes the decision has to be made within 30 seconds. So if you're someone that tends to overthink or you need a little bit more time to go over your decision making, then scalping probably isn't for you. You might want to be the weekly trader or even the day trader. So for me, my personality better fits scalping. And it's going to be up to you to figure out what your personality better fits. It's going to be different for every single body. Everybody has different lifestyles, different things going on in their life, and they're just different humans. So I say all that to say this, don't let these whole times, which are just generalized, or these time frames, or any of these different types of styles of trading box you in. You can be any of the different types of traders. I also was saying different times of the year are better for different types of traders. You can be a weekly trader. You enter your weekly trade and then you scalp on the other days or you day trade on the other days while holding your weekly position. There's so many ways to skin the cat. It's up to you to figure it out. But the number one thing is just learning the skill set as a whole. Once you have the skill set learned, the opportunities are endless and you can do anything with this information. And so we have finally covered the first portion, the basics of day trading. I hope you guys are finding all of this stuff insightful. I hope you're becoming more and more intrigued and you're finding that passion for day trading like I have. And we're going to move on to section two, where we cover the timing of these markets, because it's so crucial to know when to take your strikes in the market. I was also saying not every time is a good time to trade. So I'll see you guys in section two and we'll cover the timing of these markets.